Hey everybody, it's Jerry, and today I'm going to show you how to make apple turnovers. Um, this is a little bit tricky because you're making puff pastry and you have to be really careful to keep the dough cold at all times. Um, but if you just follow the instructions, you should be fine. Now, you may want to hold off on the frosting of them. If you indeed want to frost them, you can eat them not frosted at all and that's fine. But um, when they're nice and fresh, they're really crispy and you'll love them. But if you leave them for a day or so, they will get a little bit stale. And um, to get the crispiness back again, you want to put them back in the oven at 350 for another 10 minutes um, and they'll come back to life. So if you're not going to be ready to eat them right away, you may want to hold off on frosting them until you can get them fresh out of the oven again. Um, so just make sure to frost them before you're going to eat them and you should be fine. So let me show you how to do it. So the first step is we're going to take two apples, which have been peeled, cored, and chopped, put it in a saucepan with a quarter cup of agave, and just heat that up over medium heat. Let the apples cook until they're nice and soft. Um, so about 15 to 20 minutes. And just keep stirring it occasionally just to make sure that nothing gets burned on the bottom. And then just set that aside to cool and chill it once it's finished cooling. Now we're going to make the dough by taking one tablespoon of psyllium husk and one cup of water. And just mix that up and let it sit for a few minutes to thicken a little bit. And then we're going to add in three quarters of a cup of brown rice flour. three quarters of a cup of tapioca flour. And one tablespoon of sugar. And just mix that together and eventually it'll come together to form a dough. And then you can pull it together with your hands and just work it with your hands and knead the dough and just work it until it's nice and smooth and even throughout. And then we're gonna lay down a piece of plastic wrap on a flat surface and take the dough and just roll it in the tapioca flour and press it onto the saran wrap or the plastic wrap and just flatten it out to a nice rectangle and then take another piece of plastic wrap on top and roll it out to a nice large rectangle. You want to roll it out to about somewhere between a, an eighth of an inch and a quarter inch thickness. And then you can remove the top plastic wrap and just square off the edges with your hands so that you have a nice square rectangle. And you're going to do this a lot when you're working with the dough. You want to keep everything nice and squared off as much as possible. It's going to make everything a lot easier. And now we're gonna take a half a cup of vegan butter. Um, this is Miyoko's. You want something that's gonna get nice and firm when it's chilled. Um, so probably a nut-based uh, butter. And we're gonna grate it and spread it out over the surface of the dough. Even everything out. And then we're gonna fold it in thirds. So fold over one side and then fold over the other side. And 
and just even everything out, press all the edges together, make it nice and square, and then cover it with the plastic wrap and place it in the freezer for 10 minutes. And then once that's nice and chilled, we're gonna take it out and turn it in the opposite direction and just lightly flour both sides. And then put the plastic wrap back on top and roll it out again. Do about the same thickness as we did before. And again, you want to make sure that the edges are nice and squared off. And again, we're going to fold it over in thirds. So fold over one side. And then the other side. Even everything out, square it all off. And again, cover it the plastic wrap and, ch and chill it for 10 minutes. And then this is after it's been chilled for 10 minutes, we're gonna repeat the process. And we're gonna do this two more times, same process. So again, we're gonna roll it out into the rectangle, fold it in thirds put it back in the freezer for 10 minutes. And then one final time, rolling it out, folding it in thirds. And now we're gonna take a piece of parchment paper on a baking sheet and flour the surface. Take our chilled dough, and we're gonna roll it out to uh, about nine by 12 inches. Actually, you want to be pretty precisely nine by 12 inches. And then we're gonna cut it into three inch squares and spoon the filling evenly onto each of the squares. Now we're gonna take a spatula and flour it and just slide it under each of the squares to make sure that it's nice and separated and then fold over one corner to the other so we have a nice triangle and just lightly press the edges together. And you wanna make sure that the everything is staying nice and chilled. So if you've been working for a while, you wanna put the um, baking sheet back into the refrigerator just to chill so that it gets nice and chilled again. And just continue this way until you have worked all of the squares into triangles and then bake it three, at 400 degrees for 18 minutes. Now we're going to make the frosting, so when you're ready to frost it, we're going to take a half a cup of powdered sugar, about a teaspoon of vanilla extract, one tablespoon of vegan milk, and mix that all together. And just check the consistency, if it's a little bit too thick, add a little bit more of the vegan milk. So here, we're just a little bit too thick, just going to add drop more of the milk. So you want something that's nice and pourable, but not too watery. And I like to use a squeeze bottle and just drizzle it over the turnovers and they're ready to serve. Thanks everybody for watching. Please tune in next time for some more recipes and remember to like and subscribe.
and I'll see you next time.